This is the completed uh, blue box build. Uh, we've got the keypad mounted down here. There's the uh, status light on off switch and the uh, jack for the uh, for the earpiece, telephone earpiece. Has an eighth inch um, mono jack on it that plugs in here. There is no built-in speaker in here, so uh, it does need to be plugged into the um, into this earpiece, or the earpiece needs to be plugged into the box for it to function. However, it will work with just about any speaker, not just the earpiece. There's a uh, audio buffer amplifier I added to the circuit that provides some amplification and some impedance matching for low ohms speakers. So just about any loudspeaker can be used or uh, interfacing into a, um, into a uh, amplifier or fold coupler or something like that. So you plug it in the front like this and power on. And um, you get the blue light on the, under the lens here, or the diffuser that lights up to uh, indicate self-test passing. And uh, there's uh, 12 total different modes on here. So to go into the primary blue box mode, you just press and hold one until the blue light flashes. And that's how you change modes. You hold the button down, one through zero, um, or the pound or the star key to select any of the 12 modes. Uh, these keys over here perform memory functions and some other special things. So um, in this mode, the D key plays the 2600 tone. And the other, uh, the key pulse is the asterisk and then the digit. And the um, pound plays the, the star key. There's some special purpose uh, multi-frequency tones that we use. These are all covered in the manual. Those are accessible with the ABC key, but the D plays the, the 2600, so there's no separate button for that. Um, if you press and hold two, this puts you into the touch tone mode. So now the digits play standard touch tone. And so if we were to hold this up to a standard analog the mouthpiece of a standard analog phone, you should be able to dial using these. It also plays the A, B, C, and D keys, which normally weren't present on a uh, normal uh, telephone instrument. They were used by the military and for some special purpose operations for controlling prioritization through the military network. Uh, three turns on the uh, CCITT number five mode. This was the international version of the multi-frequency tones. All these tones are exactly the same as blue box mode, uh, with the exception of some of the C's functions. Uh, they, they use kind of a burst supervision system that was a little bit different from, different from the uh, US system. So that's uh, a common international system that was used they still actually be in use. Mode four. This is a four bit tone system, CCITT number four that was used in the UK and parts of Western Europe back in the day. And uh, freaks could seize international, international trunks using, using these tones. Uh, five. is the Joe Ingressia 2600 Hertz pulse mode. Uh, seizing the trunk from an 800 number is done just like the um, blue box mode with the 2600 tone, but instead of sending the dual tone multi-frequency digits, digits were sent using um, pulses of 2600 with the same timing as a standard rotary telephone dial. And there are a couple of um, hobbyist lines around that allow you to make phones using this system. And that's a uh, 2600 hertz burst at the same, again, same timing as the uh, telephone dial. Uh, number six is the uh, bread box mode. This plays the nickel, dime, and quarter tones that were made by a payphone when you would insert the tones. And what you could do is uh, dial a, a toll number and when the automated system asks for 
coin deposits, you would put in one real nickel, but thereafter you would just hold this up to the mouthpiece and then key in however much money you wanted to deposit into the phone and your call would go through with whatever credit. There's also a green box mode, which is used to control pay phones remotely. I won't go into the details on that, but that's covered in the manual. The star, zero, and uh, pound key are the nickel, dime, and quarter Canadian tones, which were just a single tone with the same timing as the U.S. But whereas the U.S. used uh, two tones, this uh, Canadian system used one single tone, a little bit simpler. Seven is... This is a uh, MFR2 system. It, it was a uh, multi-frequency system, but the, the tones sound very discordant. Uh, it was a variation of the um, of the digital R2 system that was used in, in Europe for uh, international trunks. So again, just another international uh, signaling system that was used on, on certain Western European trunks. Not very common. I think this is mostly UK, uh, UK connections to Western Europe where this was used. But, um, but definitely supported and there's details in the manual. Uh, where are we at here? Eight. Eight is another tone pulse system similar to the US 2600, but a different tone was used. This is a very old UK system. Uh, it uses an unusual C sequence. So you would seize the line with that and then you could reroute a UK domestic call using um, this low frequency tone. And again, the timing is the same as the standard rotary dial in the US or the UK. And uh, that was eight. Go to the next one. Uh, this is the same UK system, except the frequency is different. And the uh, C's tone is the same, and the uh, disconnect tone are all the same tone. And this was used in the 60s uh, on domestic UK trunks. So this was the equivalent of uh, blue boxing for, for UK phone freaks of the day. Uh, this mode on the star key is the Improved Mel uh, Mobile Telephone Service, or IMTS, uh, Mobile Phone Automatic Number Identification Mode. Uh, you could, if you had a radio on the frequency of the old pre-cellular IMTS system, you could key up your radio and play these tones uh, to get a dial tone back from the base station. And uh, they had some built-in parity. It was a 20 pulse per second, so double the normal dialing speed. And this sent the encoded identification of the uh, mobile phone to the base station. And if it passed, it would uh, return a dial tone. And once a dial tone was received, you could go into the AMTS pulsing mode and you could actually dial your number once you heard the dial tone. And there's some unique tone sequences that are used, but basically it's just a 10 pulse per second uh, rotary dial tone dialing system like the other ones we, we saw. Uh, the final mode on zero is a pre-IMTS mobile telephone system that was used by General Electric called the C-Code system. And again, it's um, a dial tone system or a dial pulse system that uses a different set of multi-frequency tones, very similar to IMTS. The connect and disconnect tones are a little bit different, but again, they're multi-frequency. So that's just included for historical interest, but um, these are in use up until probably the 90s, early 90s when all of these um, pre-cellular mobile phone uh, systems were, um, were phased out. So going back to the standard blue box mode, which is on mode one, a few things that we can do. We can hold down the A key, this goes into memory playback mode. There's 12 memories, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, star and pound. <clears throat> right now there's nothing stored there. So if we press the 
the uh, memory button, nothing plays back. In this mode, it's possible to adjust the uh, volume of the box uh, using the B and C keys. So right now we're at the max volume, but you get a high to low beep as you reduce volume. When the limit is hit, it plays a three beep warning. That's max volume. And there are 15 steps supported and those are stored in memory. So when the power is turned off and back on again, the box will power up uh, at the volume level that um, that was um, initially uh, stored. Holding the D key is a high to low or low to high beep. The low to high beep indicates that the uh, power warning signal is on. If there's no activity on the box for a period of five minutes and the box is left turned on, the uh, light will flash and a warning tone will play over the um, earpiece and that'll stop the uh, batteries from going flat or at least give you the chance to turn the box off if, uh, if you forget. So normally I just leave that on, which it's on right now. So we can get out of the playback mode. To, um, to store a, a tone sequence, for example, we want to set up a blue box call with a 2600 hertz tone followed by the uh, dialing digits. Uh, we go into the, tone, into the memory recording mode by holding down the B key. Blue light illuminates, and now we can enter in a series of tone sequences that we would like to store to one of the 12 memories. So, for example, we'll start with the 2600. And a little cheat plays after to remind you that you're in memory recording mode. So now with the 2600, we should have seized the line. Now we'll start rerouting the call with a key pulse. Uh, we'll say a 2-1 six area code five 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 one two one two and uh, start now we want to save that to one of the 12 memories so let's save it to memory six so we press and hold six and now uh, that sequence is saved to six to play it back we go into playback mode and most of the memory locations are empty but if we hit six It'll play back the uh, the tone sequence we just programmed. Um, now we can get out of memory mode and holding down the C key in normal manual mode toggles between long and short tone modes. Certain of the tone modes have a fixed duration like the, um, the blue box mode. So for example, I just toggled it from short to long. Now if we go into memory playback mode, we can hear that the tone duration is extended as well as the interdigit timing of the playback tones. So the uh, sequence is playing back at, uh, at a longer rate, which can improve dialing accuracy on, on noisy lines or lines that aren't uh, able to be boxed otherwise. So we'll get out of playback mode. We'll hold down C. We're now in short mode. If we go back in playback, back at the high, high speed. To uh, erase a memory, we just go into record mode. And without entering any digits, press and hold the memory that needs to be cleared. Light goes out, that memory is now cleared. So we can go into playback mode and nothing there. And uh, that's basically the, uh, the functions on the box. The uh, manual covers all this and, and more. So this is the rather uh, vintage looking form factor that I came up with on the box. I think it looks kind of vintage and has a kind of a nice look to it. Um, and it's uh, not too dissimilar from the Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak box back in the uh, 70s that those two guys had, uh, had put together. Although the internal technology is quite a bit different, of course.